Welcome back. Now we'll be learning about how to create a custom tab in Microsoft Excel. Now what are tabs we have seen earlier? If you see, we have a home tab, insert tab, page layout tab. These are the tabs people call as menu bars as well. But you can create a custom tab by your own name. For example, I have created a custom tab by my name. If you see, that's a Pavan Lalwani. If I click on this location, now a separate menu bar I have created. Why do I need that menu bars? Because in Excel, there are many applications, 300 plus options. It's very difficult to go to that tab. It's very difficult to remember what option you want. So I can create my you know, personal tab with some similar or familiar options, which I use regularly. For example, in uh, this tab, if you see, I have this font color, font size, format cells. When I come to office, when I work in Excel, I use the three options. So I've created my own custom tab and I don't have to worry where exactly are the options here. So let us learn about how do we create a custom tab by your name. Okay, let's do that. So first thing, we have to go to the file option over here. Now file menu bar consists of different options. If you see, I can create a new workbook over here. I can pick up some existing workbooks, some options here. But in order to create a new tab here at the bottom, there's an option given as options. If your screen size is small, you may not see the options here. So you need to click on maybe more button. But right now we will just click on options. Now this is the Excel options window. This is a huge library settings which we do at the back end. Now, in order to create a custom tab here, if you see, that's a customized ribbon option. Now, what is a ribbon option on the top? You remember this was the ribbon option in the previous example. Now here in the customized ribbon, if you see on the right hand side at the bottom, this is a new tab option. Now, if I minimize this option, if you see home tab, insert tab, page layout tab, there are plenty of different tabs. And here at the bottom, I've created a tab by my own name. Let me zoom the screen for you. So if I want to create a new tab, I can just click on this new tab option. When I do that, and if I just move my cursor, let me click on new tab. When I click on this new tab, I got these two options, new tab, new group. Now, what is a tab and what is a group? Let me explain. If you observe here, home tab, this is the font group. This is the alignment group. This is the number group and style group. So one tab consists of different groups. Now I'll create one tab and I'll create three groups in that, you know, tab here. Let me just go here. I'll zoom the screen for you. And here, new tab. So I can just click on rename. What name should I give? Suppose I give as uh, Elon Musk. I've given the name of the tab Elon mm -hmm. Musk and I can just click on OK button. So if you observe the name of this particular tab is Elon Musk. But in that tab, there are multiple groups. So I can just click on this new group. I can click on this rename and I can select some icon maybe. And I can write here as, uh, okay, Tesla. Then I can click on, okay. So if you see Elon Musk as the tab, Tesla as a group. Again, I'll create two more groups over here. I can click on new group, new group. Again, how do I rename? Select that group name, click on rename. And here I can type as, uh, group two, click on OK. Again, I can select this rename and I can, let's say robots and click on OK. So now when I click on OK button, carefully observe a new tab is given on the right hand side. If you see Elon Musk, when I go here, now this Elon Musk, the tabs are there. If you see the name, but the groups are not visible. Why they are not visible? Because in that group, I need to add some options. So my job is to go back add some options. What are the options? Bold, italic, underline, whatever options I want. So I can go back to file, options, customize ribbon option here. And in this first group, let me zoom the screen. In the first group Tesla, I can select fill color, click on add option here. You see, I can click on add. So I can add more options, select the group two, and I can add some more options. Let me scroll down select robots option here. I have selected robots option and I can just click on add. Now when I click on OK, so you see, and let me zoom the screen. Now the name of the tab is Elon Musk, Tesla, few options are there. Then I have group two, few options are there, robots, few options are there. Why do I need this custom tab? As I told you in a company, when you're working or any project right now, uh, you do not have to get confused. Where are the options? 
in order to do, the, do that you can customize your tab by your name and you can select the options which you use frequently so this makes your work more faster much better and easier so this was the option of creating a new tab and new groups in excel i hope you have understood that's all for this video